Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B, coming at you once again with more Amiibo content. Today we have Animal Crossing Wave 2 figures. Uh, as I stated before, huge fan of the Animal Crossing franchise, so uh, we're getting all the figures from that as well. So here we have Wave 2, which released alongside Lucas on the 22nd in America, and um, it consisted of the Animal Crossing Wave 2 cards, which I didn't buy any of those, but they do. They also had the Rossetti, Kicks, Blathers, and Celeste Amiibo, which if you saw my video of the top 8 Animal Crossing characters that need Amiibo, I actually suggested two of these characters, Rossetti and Blathers, uh, which I, admittedly that wasn't, that was more of an educated guess than a real prediction. But, you know, they're just characters that I thought would fit well and would popular enough to be Amiibo. Uh, or would bring something interesting to the table. I almost said Celeste, but I figured it, Blathers was the far more likely candidate. I'm pretty glad to have her as well because I love both of the owls. Uh, owls are one of my favorite animals. Now, if only we could get Brewster. When I was making that list, Brewster came in number nine. Uh, he just barely didn't make the cut. Uh, I just couldn't think of a real reason to justify him, anything that made him special compared to some of the other characters. But Brewster would be a great figure to add on. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Uh, we'll start with Kix over here. He's uh, probably my least favorite of these four. Not because he's bad, he's just, I don't know, not as interesting as the other characters. I do like Kicks a lot. He uh, brings that character customization element to the table via letting you change your shoes and other footwear accessories. So uh, he's all right in my book. Uh, pretty cool guy. Uh, let's go ahead and get him opened up. Uh, I remember when... Here he is, uh, there's a the little tail, he's got a little speck there, oh no, came right off, uh, so that wasn't anything. Uh, he looks pretty good actually, uh, not as much detail I would say as some of the other ones, uh, he, his, uh, there's no real texture on his, uh, outfit, but the, most of the paint is pretty decent, there's a little... Uh, seam on his arm here which is not so good um, but other than that all the other paint all the rest of the paint and everything looks pretty good uh, pretty simple figure pretty simple pose but it fits him and uh, I think it looks pretty good I just do think that he could have used a little more texture on his outfit uh, like the like some of the other Animal Crossing figures uh, so that's Kicks. Next we'll do uh, Rossetti and save my favorite owls for last. Uh, the Animal Crossing Wave 1 figures are still very common. Uh, and I think uh, either Nintendo realized this or the retailers realized this and just didn't order as much stock. But Wave 2, uh, while still pretty easy to obtain and they still seem to be pretty common, uh, their stock was nowhere near as plentiful as uh, Wave 1 where Tom Nook and Mabel were warming every shelf ever in every retail store. Uh, in fact, they I'm not sure what they're at now, but at one point they dropped below $5 on Amazon. And uh, I went ahead and picked up a Mabel, which we'll uh, get around to opening later. Uh, wanted to keep this just the Wave 2 figures, but I picked up a uh, Mabel with price match at Best Buy, and so I paid like $5 for a Mabel, so, uh, yeah, those, those guys are so common, they cannot get rid of them, uh, just can't give them away. These guys seem to have, uh, 
more balanced stock, not to the point where they're impossible to find, but not to the point where they're overabundant. Uh, here's Rossetti. Uh, man, I love this guy. I, I actually hated him as a kid, uh, not because he was scary, like for a lot of people. I hated him because he was telling me what to do and I just didn't like that. I wanted to just play the game how I wanted. And uh, so I would reset just to annoy him. And uh, eventually I I got so angry. I think I like threw my controller or something when uh, after you reset a certain number of times in the GameCube version, he actually pranks you by pretending to delete your your save file or something. And I was so shocked. Uh, but that that's when I, I kind of realized, oh, Rossetti... I was, I was angry for a while about that, but eventually I was like, nah, Rossetti's kind of got a sense of humor, and he's got a point about just playing the game the way it's meant to be played. So, uh, yeah, now, now we're now we're cool. Rossetti's one of my favorite characters now, just because just I have a little bit of history with him. Uh, so, yes, onto the figure itself. Like I was saying uh, with Kix, where he didn't have any texture really on his outfit, Rossetti has that denim texture that was present on, like, the alpacas, and uh, various other amiibo, which is a nice little detail, uh, which I'm kind of sad that they missed out on on kicks. But uh, I guess it his outfit doesn't necessarily need the texture, but I don't know. It just feels a little plain when you come put it next to Rossetti over here. But uh, he's also got his little hard hat and his pickaxe. Uh, his pickaxe is going through his hand. I'm not quite sure how he's actually holding it. Uh, it's just going right through his hand. Uh, that's weird. Uh, but I mean, I guess they could have made a little ball fist for him to hold it with, but otherwise it wouldn't have made too much sense either way. But I'm glad they decided to include the pickaxe regardless. It make it fits him and it, it just wouldn't be Rossetti without the pickaxe. Uh, which is funny, he's a mole which uh, they're known for digging around and stuff. But uh, he can't do it without a pickaxe, apparently. I guess it's the he lost his mole digging powers when he became anthropomorphized. Uh, anyways, other than that, he's got the his eyes closed. I've seen some really cool customs where they actually make angry Rossetti. Uh, I don't think I have the skill necessary to do that, but uh, they, they look cool. I, it would have been nice if we could have at least seen his eyes or something. But other, that's just a pretty minor complaint. We've got a little minor black speck on his uh, pant leg there from his shoes. Uh, other than that, though, everything looks pretty good on Rossetti. Uh, he's a little hunched over. I'm, I mean, that was intentional, but it just looks a little weird if you look at him from the side. He's just a little leaning forward a little. But uh, otherwise, pretty good figure. And... Uh, Ooh, who should we open next? I love both Celeste and Blathers. We'll get Celeste first and we'll save Blathers for last since he's my favorite one. Uh, yeah, I said in my last video that Nook was probably my favorite special NPC character in Animal Crossing. And then I uh, annotated that, that it's actually Blathers. Uh, I don't know, I love Blathers, but I just kind of seem to forget him a lot. Uh, and I think the problem is I don't actually go to the museum very often. Uh, every time I start a file, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fill up the museum this time. I'm gonna donate everything. And then I'm like, hmm, or I could sell it and get lots of money. And then I end up getting money instead. And then I feel bad because I'm not supporting the arts and sciences. But what can you do? It's money, am I right? Uh... So here we have Celeste, Blather's adorable little sister, uh, who debuted in Wild World, uh, where she served the function of letting you create constellations, uh, on, which would appear on the top screen of the game, because in Wild World on the DS, it was, uh, because on Wild World on the DS, the bottom screen was your character running around. Uh, that was pretty cool. It, was, it wasn't it was a terribly useful function, but it had a little bit of charm to your town. Uh, now she runs what's essentially the museum's gift shop where you can get some uh, exclusive items. 
and let you set up your own exhibits. So uh, I guess she's taking a little more active role in the actual museum itself. But I kind of miss the stargazing thing, uh, especially since her name is Celeste, coming from celestial, celestial bodies being stars. Uh, it fit a little more for her. Uh, I wouldn't mind if for a future installment they brought back the... Uh, if they brought back the observatory in some way and let her run that. Uh, actual figure, though, uh, she's got a cute little pose where she's got her little hand up to her chest. Uh, the paint's more or less pretty good. I've got a little bit of white on the base from her little talons. Uh, they did go to the trouble of painting the white on her talons. Uh, overall, just a really good figure, and she's got the texture on her bow. Uh, not that that's too prominent, but, uh, and her beak is a, uh, also, I didn't even mention it on Rossetti, uh, her beak, Blather's beak, and Rossetti's hard hat are, uh, I don't know, more of a gloss finish, so it, it stands out from the rest of the figure, which is, uh, interesting, uh, same with, maybe the eyes, I can't quite tell, but overall, just a really good looking figure. It's a shame that the Animal Crossing figures are pretty limited in what they do and they're for games that weren't well received because they're really fantastic looking figures. Uh, so yeah, that's a shame. I hope uh, Animal Crossing, whatever the next version is, incorporates them in some way so they'll become a little more desirable just because they're, they're cool looking figures. <laughs> I like them. Uh, and lastly is Blathers. Yes, it's Blathers. And here he is. Uh, and here he is. Uh, can't quite tell with this lighting, but uh, around his eyes he's got this uh, gray... Uh, which I guess is accurate to the model, but the way on the way it turned out, it just kind of makes him look like he's like glaring or something. Uh, I don't know. But uh, other than that, he's got a little gunk down here where they could have painted a little better. Uh, but overall, pretty much the same deal as his sister, uh, except like Kix, he didn't get any texture detailing on his little bow tie or anything. But uh, Overall, just really high quality figures. Uh, what few details there are that are off are very minor. Yeah, there's not too much more to say about Blathers, uh, or really any of them at that for that matter. Uh, so that's the Animal Crossing figures for Wave Two. Thank you for watching, as always. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I'll see you all next time for some more Amiibo content.